Today, I am going to solve a problem on birth reduction. You can find this problem in CSR NET exam 2012 June. Here is the problem. When this 2 6 dimethyl pyridine is subjected to birch condition that is lithium in liquid ammonia followed by hydrolysis then treatment with KOH what is the product? The given options are here. Only the first option it is pyridine derivative. All the remaining pyridine got converted into something else. There is no pyridine ring. In order to solve this, first you should know birch reduction. In pyridine, what is the selectivity? Then second one, hydrolysis of enamines. Third one, it's very simple, aldol condensation. Now, let us go to the birch reduction. If a system with electron donating group like this, if it is subjected to birch reduction the product whatever we get is like this we get enol ether and it will be dying the hydrogen is added here so what we get is enol ether so it may be like this also Both are same in this case. If there is electron withdrawing group like CO2H, then this compound will give this one. So hydrogen adds to the carbon that contains electron withdrawing group. So here and here what about pyridine in our case it is like this here the hydrogen will add here and fourth carbon so we will get a compound like this It is in amine now. You can see this in amine. In amine. So if you know this, the next two reactions will be easy. So the selectivity in pyridine derivative is very important. Since it is in amine, can react with electrophile. So in our case, it is H plus. Under acidic condition, goes like this and attacks here. So what we get is, now this one, it can undergo hydrolysis. The water molecule can attack here and we may get intermediate like this. oxygen and nitrogen they are on the same carbon it is not possible so we get the ring is opened here this becomes ketone a similar reaction takes place again because this also in amine As a result, we get dione like this. It is 1,5 dione. 
So this reaction takes place when we add H plus and water. That is the second step. Third step, this is treated with sodium hydroxide. When you add sodium hydroxide, the base abstracts this proton and it undergoes intramolecular aldol condensation. So what we get is this is the product whatever we get in aldol reaction. But this can eliminate water to give condensation product that is nothing but this one cyclohexenone. Now let us go to the given options. First one, this methyl group has got oxidized. It is not possible because all the three conditions, it is not oxidate, oxidation condition. So this one is not possible. The second one, this is whatever we got in the mechanism. Third one, it is a similar compound, but this methyl group, it is not in the third position. So this is not possible. Fourth one, we will get this compound in the second step itself. Here, after hydrolysis, we get enamine. Okay, that may ice, that may rearrange like this, and that is the fourth fourth one. This also is not possible. We may get this after the second step, not after the third step. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.